Welcome back. Have you ever wondered what elected officials and other influential people are really like in person? And more specifically, what is, what's it like inside their inner sanctum, inside their offices here on Capitol Hill and all around Washington? Well, we're starting a new series called Office Space, and we're bringing you inside the world of interesting and impactful and influential people. Our first installment tonight is Texas Congressman Pete Sessions. Take a look. Every member of Congress has something about them that is deep within them that they believe in. We as members are real people also. We have families, we have stresses, we have strains, we have things that we would want to express to people and hear back from people. But I will tell you the thing about me is I have never in 25 years spent a weekend in Washington. Because I have a Down syndrome son. And we talk about members of Congress who recognize disabled people as an important part of this country. What I consider to be one of the good books. Obviously, the Bible yes. is the most important, but we think a scout handbook is pretty darn close. I'm an Eagle Scout wow. and get a chance to tout stat scouting. My dad served as his FBI director. And so it gave us a chance not just to meet Ronald Reagan, but really to know more about what kind of a leader that he is. So, and I think he spoke in terms of principles and ideas that gave us all reason to believe if we work together, we have a better, not just outcome, but a better country. I brought Texas to Washington, D.C., I think with a, a viewpoint of what is Texas, and that is we're a very, very proud state. We're proud to be a part of America. Okay, panel. I mean, people come here, all right, they're student council presidents, they climb to the top of the pile, but they're still representing their districts. And they're many are not student council presidents. <laughs> well, and that's very clear. I mean, clear. everybody, yeah. my, my operating theory has always been yeah. people who make it here to Washington, as elected officials particularly, have something on the ball. And, you know, there's, they're not just two-dimensional cardboard cutouts. I think it's really nice. I think your, well, your phone will ring off the hook. Do you? With congressional reps who want to do these. It's very humanizing. People yeah. maybe want to see their particular yeah. state represented. Our it, phone will ring off the hook and our <laughs> tweets will be retweeted. I, I, yeah. I, I, I do think a lot of times people People presume those of us who have served that we're not human and that we don't have that actual connection and I there's many notes that you have of constituents uh -huh. who actually centered your your and you have walked the walk as a New York State Assemblyman you know six years there you know and two and a half here uh, you, you realize very quickly there's things that people don't anticipate yeah. as an elected yeah I think it's great. I mean, you know, you don't want people in Washington who are cynical. And so I think highlighting a congressman who's like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm a true believer. I'm here because I love this country. I love where I'm from. It's encouraging. People want some optimism. And that was a great optimistic little slice. Eagle Scout. Pretty impressive. I couldn't yeah. get into Cub Scouts. So, you know. You couldn't get into Cub Scouts. No, Cub I Scout get dropout. Cub Scouts. That was the highest I went to. All right. Okay. <laughs> so, well, it was interesting. I mean, it's good to see people behind the scenes like yeah, that. Absolutely. The Rayburn office building looked very familiar to me. 